this is the last part of our video on uh, exponent laws. Unfortunately, we ran out of time on the last one. So our last question here says 2x squared y to the 5, all squared, times 6x squared y to the negative 1, all to the power of 3, divided by 3x to the 4, y squared, all squared, and then that entire thing is also all squared. So to figure out this question, I want to try to follow my bed mass order of operations. So we always start with brackets. So I do notice that there's a very large set of brackets here. So I'm going to start by working on everything that's inside that set of brackets. So inside here, we're also going to try to follow bed mass. I do have brackets inside, but there's nothing to do in them. Exponents. I notice that there is a power of two, a power of three, and another power of two that are outside the brackets. So that's what I'm going to start with. We're going to take our first power of two and using our exponent laws, I'm going to multiply that into all of the exponents in the first bracket. So we're going to multiply it by the five on the y to the five, the two on the x squared, and that 2 has a secret exponent of 1. So we're going to multiply that by 1. So that's going to give me 2 to the 1 times 2, which is 2, x to the 2 times 2, which is 4, and y to the 5 times 2, which is 10. When I take a look at the next bracket, that power of 3, I'm going to multiply it into all of the exponents. So the one on the x, the one on the y, and there's a secret one on the six. So six to the power of one times three is three. X to the six to the three, that multiplies to give me 18. And Y to the negative one times three is negative three. In the denominator, we're going to distribute the power of two. So two times two, two times four, and two times that secret one on that power of three. So this is all divided by 3 to the power of 1 times 2, which is 2, x to the power of 4 times 2, which is 8, and y to the power of 2 times 2, which is 4. And don't forget that is all still in a big set of brackets to the power of 2. So from here, I am going to evaluate 2 squared, 6 cubed, and 3 squared. 2 squared is 4, x to the 4, y to the 10. 6 to the power of 3, we saw that one earlier, I believe that's 216, so that's 216, x to the 18, y to the negative 3, and in the denominator, 3 squared is 9, x to the 8, y to the 4. Don't forget, that's all still in those big brackets squared. Okay, so we still need to work on what's inside that big bracket. So I'm going to do the multiplication inside. So I'm going to do the variable parts first. I have x to the 4 times x to the 18. We're going to add to get x to the 22. y to the 10 times y to the negative 3. We're going to add that. 10 plus negative 3 is going to give us 7. And then I need to multiply 4 times 216, and on my calculator that tells me that is 864. So I have 864x to the 22, y to the 7, and then the denominator is still 9x to the 8, y to the 4, and this is all still squared. Let's bring that up. Okay, so I'm going to do the division next. So I will do the variables and then I'll deal with the numbers. So x to the 22 divided by x to the 8, we subtract. 22 take away 8 is 14. And then y to the 7 divided by y to the 4, we subtract. 7 take away 4 is 3. And 864 divided by 9 is 96. And that is still all in big brackets to the power of 2. So now that I've simplified everything inside the bracket, we're going to do the exponent. I'm going to take that exponent of 2 and distribute it through, so we'll multiply it into the 3, 
the 14 and that 96 has a secret exponent of 1. So this is going to give me 96 to the power of 1 times 2 is 2. x to the power of 14 times 2 is 28. And y to the power of 3 times 2 is 6. Now all I need to do is figure out what 96 to the power of 2 is. And that is 9216 x to the 28, y to the 6.